Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, December 30th. I'm James Spann, back in the saddle. Thanks a lot to everybody for covering for me last week. Brian and Ashley and Bill Murray and JB and JP and probably more. But good to be back. And uh, it's a cloudy, cold, raw Monday. Uh, and uh, the buzz in the weather community is about next week. Potential maybe for record cold. Just potential. Uh, let's go in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. We'll start with Trustville's Skycam. That's overlooking Chalkville Mountain Road. The sky there is cloudy, and it's cold. Down to the south, we've got clouds at Clanton and the Alabama Gulf Coast on this late December day, New Year's Eve Eve. It's a cloudy and cool day. In fact, really, you can't find any sun across the state. There's a look at the uh, visible satellite view, and the clouds cover uh, all of Alabama in the adjacent states. You really have to go down to places like uh, Tallahassee and Jacksonville, Florida, to find any sunshine. And we're going to have to wait until this trough axis to pass by before the uh, sky clears late tonight. Uh, you can see that subtropical connection all the way from the uh, uh, Pacific Ocean coming up through here. But again, once we get the trough axis past us early tomorrow morning, we think the sky will clear. A pretty reasonable chance will be uh, clear by 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but it's going to be a slow process. And look at the numbers. I mean, uh, keep in mind here at the end of December, we should be in the lower 50s. Uh, and for North Alabama, not even close to that. It's only 36 at Haleyville, 38 at Coleman and Huntsville, mostly mid to upper 40s around here. And around the nation, uh, those black shades up there on the uh, border of uh, Canada, parts of Minnesota, North Dakota, it's basically off the chart. It's so cold. It was uh, 36 below at International Falls, Minnesota this morning. It is brutally cold across the upper Midwest today. And we're just catching the edge of that air mass. Uh, but again, the buzz is what might happen next week. An air mass may be colder than that. We'll drive farther to the south. We'll talk about that as we go. Here's the watch warning map. Things are relatively quiet around the nation despite the cold. Most of the wind chill advisories have been taken down for our friends up north. I got a handful of winter weather advisories. But again, no major winter weather or rain events in progress at this point. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock local time. This is suggesting rain of about one quarter to one half inch here. And that will be with our next event late Wednesday night into the day Thursday. And the heaviest rain with that probably south of here, but it sure looks like we'll see a pretty decent amount of rain on Thursday. Let's walk you through the maps, the GFS. Uh, this is the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon local time tomorrow. And this is at 500 millibars. And uh, we've got uh, a, a fairly fast northwest flow aloft across much of the country. An upper low that's over Mexico. We'll watch that feature. And down below that, tomorrow will be a cool and dry day and a brighter day. Now, we start the day more than likely down in the mid to upper 20s. It uh, depends on how fast the sky clears. If the clouds stay in much of the night, the low will be around 30. But tomorrow during the day, the sky should become mostly sunny, and the high will be in the, I'd say, upper 40s tomorrow. Uh, perhaps not quite as uh, cold as today, pushing 50. Here's Wednesday. Again, uh, a cold morning. We'll start the day around freezing. The high Wednesday should be in the mid-50s. The GFS is printing a high of 56 on Wednesday. And here comes Thursday. Big trough coming at us from the west. Uh, the energy from Mexico phasing up with the northern branch system. And that spins up a pretty decent little load down to the south of here uh, with a surface cold front coming in from the north. So it looks like uh, we'll probably see rain beginning after midnight Wednesday night with rain likely Thursday, especially Thursday morning. And uh, this looks like a, a rain of maybe a one half inch on our end of the state amounts closer to one inch down south. And of course, there's going to be a cool rain. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw falling temperatures on Thursday. We might see some of the folks up in the Tennessee Valley reaching the 30s by afternoon as cold air advection kicks in. And this is Friday. This is going to be a cold day. Uh, we'll start the day uh, well down in the 20s. 
And the latest guidance coming in with a high only at 38 on Friday. So it looks like we're not going to make it out of the 30s. Uh, and just for the fun of it, uh, here's a look at the projected snow cover. Uh, this is Thursday night, Thursday evening at uh, 7 o'clock local time. And uh, this is suggesting maybe a dusting over Tennessee and maybe near the Tennessee-Alabama border. But we think any snow of significance with that feature should stay north of us. But about the weekend, you ask, this is Saturday, should be a nice day. We'll start the day around 20. It's going to be cold early, but the high should be around 50 with a sunny sky. And this is Sunday. Uh, the sky will be sunny, and again, uh, the high around 50 degrees. Now, let's take a look at uh, next week. This is Monday, a big old 1,053 millibar high, nosing into the United States from Canada. And that's going to push some very cold air down the pike. The GFS is clearly suggesting that. Now, this is uh, Tuesday of next week, January 7th. Uh, it does not have a super polar vortex uh, far south like the European you're about to see, but still that would suggest some pretty cold air for Tuesday of next week. Uh, highs would probably be in the 30s and lows down around 20, but this is what's got the weather community buzzing here. This is the uh, uh, <coughs> European valid really Monday evening of next week at 6 o'clock local time. Got a screaming 167 knot jet rounding the base of that trough, polar vortex dropping down into Michigan and Ohio. And uh, if by chance that's correct, it delivers very, I mean, brutally cold, record-shattering air down into the deep south. I mean, we, we think, I think this is an outlier. I know it's fun to look at this, but the European has not had a good track record this season in that day five, six, seven, eight period. But this is showing, and these are not anomalies. These are actual two-meter temperatures, minus 20s over Kentucky and Tennessee, and uh, temperatures below zero down into the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. I mean, if this thing is right in Nashville, but at 20 below zero Tuesday morning of next week. Now, I don't buy into that right now. This is an outlier. But the idea has been on the table. So just something to watch. Let's don't buy into this thing uh, full scale at this point. But that is a very interesting run. Go out there later in the month, back to the GFS. This is the 14th out there at mid-month. This is suggesting a nice surface low passing over South Alabama, and that would be a rain event if this is right. And the next day on the 15th, uh, we've got uh, troughing to the north, and that system lifts out. We turn colder. So uh, clearly the most interesting element to this is next week. How cold will it be? We just don't know that yet, but uh, we will have a much better idea later this week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. We're on holiday schedules this week, so uh, one video per day through Friday. Uh, thanks for watching. The next one here should be up by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, if you can, catch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340, on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. And Weather Brains, our year ender tonight at 830 Central. Greg Carbon of the Storm Prediction Center will be our guest. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.